Hello and welcome. This time to a video about an empiric method to tune an O closed loop. We're talking about tuning the closed loop according to Ziegler Nichols. So, two control, two American control engineers, uh, John Ziegler and Nathaniel uh, Nichols, uh, and they developed this method. Uh, so what is this method? This method is suitable for quite a lot of uh, control systems. Uh, however, there's a uh, one thing which we need to go to the stability, to the point, to the border of the stability, stability border. Yeah, we have to hit this. If this is possible with your control loop, you may try this. If this is not possible with your control loop because it's too dangerous or the st stability is leaving the uh, permittable limits, yeah, it's not working for you. Yeah? So how is this done? Yeah? With the main idea of Zygna Nichols was that the gain factor, the proportional factor, is a major has major impact on the stability of a control loop usually. Yeah? So they said we will just use a proportional regulator, P regulator, P controller, and this one we will adjust the gain. We tune it up and 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 so on. And at one point in time, we will start to swing. And at one point in time, we will swing and never stop to swing. So this is exactly where we reach the stability border. Okay. I show you, I show you on my sheet here. So. See here. We do have a P controller. Huh? It's just the P part. And we are tuning the KP, the proportional factor, up and up and up. And at one point in time, jump response will look like this, still stable. Okay? And then we're going up and up and up. And at one point in time, the jump response will look like this. Ooh. And we'll never get less. Yeah? Border stability. Yeah? Exactly this gain is called the critical gain. Critical gain. Okay. We do have a swinging time here. And this swinging time is the critical the critical frequency or the critical time. Okay. These two parameters I have now. And from these two parameters yeah, I can derive the adjustment of a P controller, of a PI controller, of a PID controller according to Ziegler Nichols. So what is this? For a P controller, I'll set KP to 0 0.5, the critical one. Okay? So a P controller. So oh, that's perfect. For a PI controller, I will set the P part, KP, to 0 0.45 of the critical one. Yeah? And the uh, TN of the controller, I will set to 0 0.85% of the critical period length. 
And finally, we got the PID controller. And for the PID controller, the B part is again a little bit higher, 0 0.6, because I can count on the stabilizing thing of the D part. Okay, the I part, TN, is 0 0.5 of the critical, and TV for the differential part is 0 0.12 of the critical time period. Okay. These are the rules according to Ziegler Nichols. Okay. So this what was in their experience are the best adjustments. Of course their experience does not have the full scale of all possible areas of control. So there are indeed systems out there which are not stable with these adjustments. Yeah? These adjustments also tend to overshoot. If you have an application where overshoot is not appropriate, this is not that good. Yeah? So these are the down points of the Ziegler Nichols method. We need to go to the stability point. Yeah? We need to have a system where overshoot does not really matter and we might have a system where this adjustment is really not uh, stable. Okay? Yeah. So, this was one empiric method. Yeah? Next time we are talking about another empiric method. Yeah? Next time we are talking about the closed loop uh, adjustments from three guys. Keen, Horns and Reswick, yeah. but this will be next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.